all right guys welcome back another video so we got the e46 coupe going down you guys already know we installed the m3 wheel in the last video this is gonna go a little bit further i had to i had to baby sick and tired of this uh wheel gap lowering the car on some bc coilovers just snagged a nice deal on uh, marketplace went picked them up 800 cash we're just gonna pull her in and uh, get her set up. Okay guys, we have the car up on the hoist, wheels off. We're just going over to see what uh, we're looking at. We uh, personally have not done anything like this by ourselves, so it's gonna be a little bit of a process, but looks fairly simple. The rears, to my knowledge, what we're gonna have to do is we have to get back into here and then this is what we're gonna be taking out. <laughs> gang, gang. <laughs> nah, that's how you break your neck. I'm good. Is there a left or right? I don't think so. But you might need this, I don't know. This is like a... Yeah, the top half. Yeah, cool. Oh, Jesus. Is there an orientation of these things? Yeah, check the box. Is there anything else in the box? Uh, Alright guys, we're a very long way from the shop, as you can see. Pretty much what happened is I installed the coilovers and lowered the car. It's the exact same height as the way we put it up. So it just means the coilovers weren't um, twisted up or whatnot. So boy Dre saving the day. Also, when I got these coilovers, I didn't have the actual tools to uh, raise and lower them. So they were pretty uh, tight when we got them and I didn't want to mess around with the threads. So I just figured we'd throw them in whatever they were, hoping it would be a little lower, but this is something we're trying to achieve. Maybe a little bit, a little bit higher than this, but we got the mast. Okay, these are looking a lot better. You guys can see we pretty much maxed them out. Got them down to 15, 14 threads. I'm gonna put these fronts back on and then onto the rears. Okay guys, bit of a scare. We just realized it's leaking a bit of coolant, but that aside, we've got this side done and Dre's gonna do the honors and see what we're sitting at. Nice and slowly, buddy. Okay, baby. Okay, so rear, front's down. We got the rear jacked up. Got that front fitment dialed in nice. The rear, the issue we ran into is I made the mistake. I didn't bring enough bolts over and we don't have the nut or the bolt to get this. I think it's an 18 or 19 off. So unfortunately, this is gonna call it a day for us. Quickly just checking the car and make sure there's nothing sitting around. Yo, chill. Chill. Chill, bro. There's a box. Uh, yeah, don't get hyped yet. Don't get hyped yet. Don't get hyped yet. Don't get hyped yet. I just found this. I see a 17. That's not what we need. What's this? This might work. Oh, don't tell me these are fucking. Yeah, let's try this boy. Let's try this boy. Nah, they're not gonna work. They're not gonna work. You gotta be hyped for a second. I know, I just saw a box with bolts. You can see we got the front right where we want it. The rear we weren't able to access because we didn't have the 18 mil. So oh, we're at the shop. Got this guy in for some warranty. Bubbled up in this little crevice right there. Gonna be fixing that up for him today. We got this IS300. You end up getting some side skirts and a front lip, I believe. So we're gonna be installing that as well. Got this thing parked up, and this is on BC's too. It's pretty maxed out. Looking nice. Go get this old girl pulled in. 
All right, we got her pulled in. We backed her in all the way nice. We'll go ahead, jack the rear up, and uh, get started on that. I believe Dre is on his way in, and he's gonna be actually taking his coilovers off because he's gonna be selling them and getting a pair of Broadways. He wants to go a little bit lower, so let the kid be. This is what we're at guys. So we got the rears out of the car. We end up anti-seizing these, getting them all freed up. I guess when I put them in, I skipped a bunch of steps. So we're making sure we do it right. You can see working away. Got Dre over here going higher than his. Getting all the suspension out. We're gonna go ahead and drop the car. Moment of truth. Huh? Bro. Did it even drop? The head low, bro. Huh? We maxed them. That's what I'm saying. Bro. So we're just down the street right now. And we got the car back. You can see we got the fronts kind of dialed in. The rear, I don't know, man. The rear still needs some help. I swear that's the same height as the stock suspension was. So, okay, okay. So, we've got these bolts, you guys can see. We end up putting these all the way back up. Yes, the car is lifted again. Dirty, my hands are dirty. We got one more side to go. And if this doesn't lower it, we are officially throwing the car into the uh, Lake Ontario and going to be filing an insurance claim. So let's hope this works. So third time guys, we have what we think is fully adjusted and lowered the coilovers. For the third time, we will be dropping the car and finding out if these are actually lowered or not. Okay, so this is what we're working with. This is with the rears fully maxed out. I don't know if we can go any more than this. Uh, some of the guys online are saying you take some of these rings off and you can go a little bit lower, but for now, this is gonna do more than enough. It's better than the stock height. This is the third time today we've attacked this. We've attacked it yesterday. I've been at this all weekend. So I'm just gonna enjoy the car as is. We'll go ahead, pull it out. It is a lot better, so I'm not even complaining. Like when we initially took it out today, I couldn't even, I could get a fist still in here. Right now it's, it's a little two finger. Garage certified mechanic. That's it, baby. The front is perfect. I love the front, but the rear, like if you just drop it a little bit more. Yeah, I'm telling you, we take these locking collars off. Or just a spacer, a spacer in the rear. Uh, I think the wheels yeah. too, like it's not, touch it not gonna have any daily problems with this car this height we'll still be able to get in parking lots it looks a lot more pleasant to look at there's not as much wheel gap but is what it is guys what is up guys i'm just up at my house uh in my room right now so this is about a week after the previous video where we dropped the car and we just kind of stopped filming I can't remember, I, I, I must have deleted some footage on my phone, but that's the last bit I had. Since then, I went ahead, I installed my front lip, the, and I also took one of the locking rings, the collars off the rear coilover, just to get it that little bit lower because I wasn't really satisfied at where it was sitting. It was nice when we first dropped it, but when I started looking at it, the front was a little bit lower and I wanted just that even kind of stance across. So the car's downstairs. Let's go check it out and see what it's looking like. Here we go. So you guys can see I got that front lip installed. Carbon fiber. Psych. This is just vinyl wrap. Looks sick. Check out our other video on the vinyl wrap install. Overall, I'm super hyped on how it turned out. Everything couldn't have turned out more perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. 
and be sure to check out all of our new videos coming up as you guys can see summer's coming we're getting the cars ready and we got lots in store so stay tuned